Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from inside my palace, my 16FQ Wolf Pup Camper. Where do you see the upstairs? <laughs> anyway, I'm getting ready for work. I got a side hustle job. You guys know I go to Publix or Total Wine and More and I pass out samples. Today is the big payday, 20 bucks an hour for three hours from four to seven. I'll be at the Publix on Boynton Beach Boulevard in Congress on the southwest corner. Uh, you can't miss it. And in Boynton Beach. And I'll be there from 4 to 7. And I'm passing out alcoholic uh, beverages. It's a can of Lone River, something like that. Uh, margarita, vodka. I don't know. I don't drink it. But you can come by and I'll give you a little thimble of it or shake my hand. But anyway, as you can see, I got my white shirt hanging up there. What's nice about it, I wanted to show you guys my, my little ironing board here. This is the minimalist ironing board. Let me uh, show you here. This is uh, something I got at Walmart. And I put a little towel on it because it's it's junk. If you If you try to iron your shirt on this, you can feel the... Uh, the little grate there. It's a very thin thing. So I just throw a little towel on. Works perfect. And the nice thing about uh, wearing that vest with the bow tie, all I have to do, don't tell anybody, is I, I, uh, I iron my sleeves and my collar only. All this right here, it's not too bad wrinkle, but it's just covered up by the vest. So. I don't have to sit here and work around this little ironing board. But anyway, that's what I do. Now my iron is a, I'm very proud of my iron. I bought this, I gotta turn it off. It's a, uh, a chi, see there, chi. Look at the hole, this is a Teflon bottom. Most of them are um, like a stainless steel or metal. This is a Teflon bottom. Look at how many holes and it has, um, let me show you, make sure I'm pointing it right. It has all these settings. I've got it on cotton right now. I got a little dial right here. I'll spin that when I show you. So you've got wool, silk, uh, what does that one say? Synthetic, that's off. And then the first one is linen. So, and then there's a little wheel right here that you can uh, adjust the steam. It'll really steam and you press it out, watch. Woo. This is one heck of an iron, I love it. It'll, uh, it'll press anything very quick. But anyway, I could turn my air conditioning off so I could talk to you guys for a minute. It's three o'clock now, I got an hour to get there. The place is only 10 minutes from me. I got time to get in the shower, put this monkey suit on and get down there in my nice shiny new uh, forerunner that I waxed today. Saved myself uh, a lot of money by doing it myself. And it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna unplug this right here and put some music back on, get a shower, crank up this roof air. Let's do it together. Woo, thank God it works, let me tell you. So anyway, I'm getting ready to go crush it, but this is not the end of the video. I got some more clips coming up before we get to the end. Hang on. Check it out, everyone. Tammy bought me this. Remember these? It's a shoehorn. And man, do I need it. Let me show you. Stick it in right back here. Like that. I don't even have to bend over. Look at that. Want to see it one more time? Let me grab this other shoe here. I'm racing to get ready. I apologize for this air conditioning noise, but I can't shut it off. I can never get that shoe in with, without this horn. Look at that. Nothing. Easy. There's nothing to it. Thank you, Tammy. Really like that thing. Shutting everything down, getting ready to put the bow tie on. I've got a story to tell you guys when I get in the truck. Hang on. Folks, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do storytelling. 
I think my phone is gonna shut off any second. I just ran from the camper to the truck. I got oil maintenance light. I can't tell you what temperature it is, but it is on the surface of the sun. My goodness. If there's any way I could be out of here, June, July, and August, I would absolutely crush it. I'd be out of here so fast. Wow. Don't come here, folks. Don't come anywhere near this place. Oh, I know. It's hot everywhere. It's going to shut off. It's going to overheat. I can tell. It's up there in the Iotti, and if I hold it, everybody's going to scream at me, and I wouldn't do that anyway. I was going to try and talk to you guys about who remembers the good old days? <laughs> I got a saying. These are the good old days because the way things are changing uh, in this world and in our country, these truly are the good old days. But but who, uh, who am I talking to? Look at my demographic. Tammy and I will get into these fun conversations sometimes because... Yeah, we, we're the same age, and we talk about the movies that were on, uh, all the shows we used to watch on TV. We remember when you had to get up and change the channel, even before the clicker. You had the rabbit ears. We remember when phones had cords on them. I'm worried about my phone shutting off. I'm trying to go a little bit too fast. I was going to kind of go into a few things with you guys to um, reminisce and go back because... I grew up in the 70s, and you know, I'm 65 almost. Some of you out there are older than me. But I remember when, before the internet, you know, when before cell phones, when, before pagers, and then pagers came along, and you got a beep, and it was like, hey, somebody wants to talk to me. <laughs> but you couldn't call them. You had to go to a payphone. Remember those? Going to a payphone, you pull up. I've seen people that used to just pull up and stick their arm out their window and make a call. Phone booths were everywhere. We had to communicate. And overnight, they disappeared. But I remember when a microwave came out, and it was like big time. And then everyone was getting one of those microwave roller tables that you put it on. And uh, everybody got one for the kitchen. I don't know what prompted me to talk about this, but it's just amazing that in my lifetime, and I'm not that old, I don't feel that old, how many things are obsolete that most of the young people today, I, I heard the word today, Gen Z, Gen Y, Gen X, I get them confused. I think the Gen Z is the younger ones, uh, nine to 24, and the uh, Gen X are up to 46 or 56 years old, maybe 46. And then we're the uh, boomers. <laughs> um, what do they call them? Boomers? Uh, whatever. Uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a word that some people, some of the young people call you. It's almost disparaging. Listen, boomer. <laughs> I've had people say to me online, uh, well, anyway, I'm trying to think of what the first word of the boomer is. You guys are really good at reminding me everything. I, I, I remember uh, I was talking about the buffet and the ships, and you guys told me that it was the, uh, I've already forgotten again. Two people reminded me, and uh, something else. So I appreciate that. You guys are good listeners. But, yeah, you remember the old days? I mean, I watched them build I-95 out here. And in the 70s, when I watched... Fast Times at Ridgemont High or old 70s movies, and I look at the old cars. Those those classic cars that you see at classic car shows now were what we as high schoolers drove. You know, we had Mustangs, 66 Mustangs, Camaros, uh, Novas, <laughs> you know. We had those cars, and they were just kind of like not a big deal. They were nice, especially if you did some, you know, work to it but you don't even see them anymore. Everything just disappears quickly and everything just keeps moving now and the, the time 
the span of speed of, of things that are happening, I mean, tomorrow everything's obsolete. Every day is a new, it's crazy. It is mind boggling. That's why I say people need to get centered and quit getting caught up in that whirlwind and remember who you are and where you came from and you're not gonna take any of this with you. It doesn't matter what they invent or what's gonna happen. You're not gonna get any more years than you were given by the good Lord. So whether that's tomorrow or a hundred years, it doesn't matter what kind of inventions that come out. You better live every last one of them for happiness and treating others the way you wanna be treated, the golden rule. Just a little reminder there. But it is fun, you know, for some of the new technologies, you know, we have these iPhones and Android phones. We can call anybody from our car or walking down a mall or something. And, you know, our TVs, <laughs> we can even speak to them. We don't even have to use a remote now. You can voice change the channel. Everything is, is different. And you wonder what's going to happen about jobs and what they're going to need people to do, you know, with this AI stuff. Today, I heard something on the internet that's going to be, believe me, you're going to be hearing about it if you haven't heard about it already. It's this new Fed now uh, that they're going to be tracking our money in the banks. It's kind of like a Venmo or a WhatsApp or not a WhatsApp, but a, a Zelle that all the big banks like Chase and Wells Fargo are going to it. It's already, it's already on and it's just the first phase and this could be the end of our privacy. Uh, supposedly this, this new thing has no privacy um, inclusions. So they're gonna be able to track, let's say you're buying uh, $100 worth of gas, they're gonna say, no, you only get 50 and they just cut you right off. It could be used for all sorts of tracking and keeping data and controlling, you know, let's say you didn't pay your bills on time and you want to go and buy something, you know, who knows what they're going to do. But when they print, when they printed the $10 trillion and the, the, the great reset started in March of 2020 and they knew what they were doing. And now we have all this money and now the dollar is becoming less valuable and less important around the world as the main currency. Some countries have already dissed it and they're using their own. Uh, there's uh, China's economy by 2030 is gonna surpass ours. So there's gonna be a changing of the guard, a changing of, and those that are getting their social security right now that are approaching 62, that are in their final chapter of their life versus like my grandchildren, what are they gonna see, assuming they live to be 70, 80, 90 years old, what sort of world, how fast will things change? And what sort of inventions and, you know, and what will we see even, you know, assuming we live to be 80 or 90 years old, the way things are going now. And they're, you know, that's another 20 or 30 years. Just think about your grandchildren or your young children what kind of world and what kind of changes that they're going to see. It's just, it's, it's exciting and very scary at the same time. And you know it's not gonna stay the same. It's not gonna be just like we, we have this economy and this market that we're doing right now. That we're driving these kinds of cars, we're buying those kinds of homes, we're using this kind of currency, maybe not even wearing these kinds of clothes, who knows? We might be wearing some, you know, it's, it's really, you know, I'm getting deep, I know, but you can't stop uh, the way this thing, this thing is going so fast. I mean, just think in the last, all right, I go back to the 70s, like I said, when I was in high school, class of 77 in uh, Lake Worth High School. None of what we have right now existed, none. We used to have to call our friends on the phone. They'd be sitting at home waiting for a call to get together and go hang out, or you would just go find them. <laughs> you know, get on your 10 speed or whatever and you know, ask around, have you seen so-and-so, go to the parks. We just evolved into this way that we knew to communicate. Look how we communicate now. 
doesn't matter where we're at. All we have to do is send out a text, a location. You ever think about this? I was going to start this video by saying, just think about, you know, the uh, the good old days, the old movies and the drive-ins and the things that we used to do. But then I got on this run and my mind is just going. And I do find it kind of interesting. But all we have to keep remembering, folks, that's why I talk about it. It's so important now. It's never been more important. Everybody forgot about God for the last 25 years or 30 years when churches and preaching and going out visiting from churches and all these things had become more unpopular and uh, the, the, the social media started condemning religion and you know condemning preachers and saying they were all this and crooked and like the politicians and just trying to beat down and suppress religion to now young people bless their hearts they don't even believe or know about God their parents the last generation hasn't even raised them to believe in anything and so they don't know in their defense they don't even know they don't even know most do I pray they do I hope they do but you know, if we don't, you know, have a revival and spread the word now and talk about it like I'm doing in my videos occasionally, and maybe some young people are watching my videos and they'll give it a, a moment to think about it, and, you know, God will open their ears and eyes to read something or they can be, you know, influenced or, or something by someone young, younger than me. So instead of some old fart that wants to tell them about religion and God and Jesus, you know, maybe they'll find some young person. And there's a lot of young people that go to church and, and believe because that's the way their parents raised them. You can get out of the road there, mister. So anyway, I'm at my job here at the uh, Publix. I could go on and on with this video. Believe me, I'm just getting started. But guys... And gals, and my dear friends out there, you 35,000 almost, beautiful souls, such beautiful souls. I read your comments. You're wonderful people. You're the salt of the earth. Don't hang your head. I know you don't. Spread the word. Tell somebody about God. Show that kindness. Show that love. That's being godly right there. You don't even have to say anything. Just, just, act, just act that way and be generous do what you can let's change this world let's let's make a difference before we're out of here let's crush it